Hello everyone, welcome back. It has been a while, but I am finally making a video. Yes, after a month and a half of nothing, I am finally doing something. But I thought it would be a cool idea to try complete Red Dead Redemption 2 without using a horse. Um, let me tell you now, before you watch the rest of this video, it's not possible. It's really not possible, but... Well, I'm gonna try to do as many missions as possible without using my horse, and I have actually, I I have tried. I've done the first two missions. Um, if you want to watch that, but uh, the rules for this challenge is well, obviously, no horses allowed. Um, in free roam, I'm not allowed to use a horse. I'm not allowed to fast travel, and I might be able to use wagons, but that's up for you, to you uh, to decide. But uh, yeah, no, uh. I'll let you uh, watch the rest of it, and hope you have fun doing so, because I, I didn't. This is going to be a very long, long time. And it's only the first two missions, that took me like 40 minutes. Anyway, enjoy. So we start off the game with Arthur and Dutch getting on their horses. I immediately get off and run after him. Um, so I start walking, he stops. I'm very confused with why he has stopped, because we don't need the horse, I'm faster anyway. So I stare at him for a few seconds, try to get on his horse, doesn't work, so I run. Because I know where Mike is going to be anyway, so I proceed to run, keep on running through the snow, and then I get tired out now. Guess not now. Now, there we go. And it says mount my horse, keep on running, so I don't get, and then the mission fails. It just, it fails. So... I reload the checkpoint and I don't th I can't think of anything else to do so because I was gonna lead the horse but as you'll see in a second it doesn't let you so I get off and proceed to go inside where Miss O'Shea does not allow me to so I go back to the horse uh, you can see I'm trying to lead it but it, it doesn't work so I just I kind of chill with Charles for a bit. If you look on the map, you can see the X of where Davy is dead. Uh, yeah, no, they don't let me in. They don't want me. Arthur's not loved by any of them. They don't all from dead. So I sit there for a few seconds and decide I have to use the horse. So uh, this mission is not possible to do without using your horse. So I follow Dutch until we get to Micah, and you know the rest. So I'll see. We'll see what happens when we meet Micah. So we find Micah, um, the, the rat, the snake, two-faced, no one likes Micah, right? So we find Micah, he gallops up in, his, in the snow on the horse, the disgusting horse, no one likes horses either. See, when people play Red Dead Redemption 2, they, they don't want to ride the horse, Rockstar, just Red Dead Redemption 3, just get rid of them. No, no one wants the horses, alright? the worst part of the game so Mike is talking whatever Arthur's confused he doesn't know what's going on so he's new to the gang he's only been in about a month so he decides to get off his horse and run after them because he doesn't know what to do and I honestly thought it was going to be possible because they carried on moving for a second and then they just kind of didn't move anymore uh, which happens now see I know I'm such a good YouTuber honestly so I look at Dutch, I run, I run away, and it, it, it fails immediately. The second I pass Micah, it fails. I was saying the horse was abandoned. So at this point, I'm thinking maybe it will let them, let me lead the horse. Maybe. Um, spoiler: it doesn't. It doesn't let me lead the horse, which I am sad about. So I decide I I have to ride the horse because there's nothing else I can do. So yeah no this now that I'm thinking about it what's gonna happen in the future this this isn't gonna work this really is not going to work so we carry on riding until we get to the house with Sadie in it the O'Driscoll's and I'll see you there in a second so we arrive at Sadie's and name's like Jacob's house um, well I immediately try to end my horse's life which doesn't work until I try it again um, and Arthur breaks his skull. So I run away from my horse, thinking, you know what, I'm going to kill the Adriscals on my own. Don't need Dutch, don't need Micah, which I don't. 
no one likes either of them to be honest so I get behind the barn nothing happens so I, I climb over it and I run to the front door and, the, and it fails it fails because it doesn't it doesn't want me to have fun in this game Rockstar why can't you make it immersive we don't need the horses just run everywhere honestly I don't see the problem so I load back in uh, I think I tried to lead the horse no apparently not I just Oh, I'm back here, that's why. Well, see, that was very eventful. So I decide I don't want to try anything else. And I just do it, because I know I cannot co complete this mission without using the horse. Which, it's it's difficult. But maybe we can do it in the next mission. So we arrive at the house properly this time, actually doing the mission. So I'm speeding off ahead. It tells me to follow Dutch, so I just assume I have to return to him. There he is. The snake taking his time, so I start jumping because you know, as I said, Arthur's new to the gang. He's he's just started only last month. Um, so we're waiting for Dutch to uh, do his thing or whatever, uh, which he takes his time doing. Jesus, Dutch mate, what's, what's going on? So we're already there. We're behind the shed. There's Dutch, just walking slowly to the front door we see Micah hide behind the uh, little wagon thing and then we just we just kind of wait and we look over for a second because I'm pretty sure I'm eating a biscuit at this point so we're waiting uh, Dutch is just he's just sat there waiting for the people to stop their party and he's just he's just try, he's just trying to talk with them but what he doesn't realise is that they're for schools and then uh, Micah in a second tries doing his best impression of Logan Paul which I'll let you let you listen to the game proceeds to tell me to protect Dutch which you know I'm not a fan of so I'd rather just watch him become one of the corpses so I just sit there with my gun out because the game told me to and I just I just watch hoping they will shoot Dutch because they're O'Driscoll's and they don't like Dutch that's literally their main purpose in the game is just to not like us now that I think about it they don't do anything else they do literally nothing else so it tells me to aim or shoot because I'm bored and that the, the shootout happens uh, I kill loads of people, and I don't know why Mike says I owe him. He didn't do anything. He just uh, he just did his impression of Logan Paul, which you know, fair enough. Um, all he needed to do was whip out the camera, which I, I mean, I don't think there were many vloggers back in uh, 1899, but still, Mike, uh, come on, the impression failed because of that. So I go to join this guy in the toilet. He proceeds to die in front of me while I'm reloading my gun. Um, which was sad, so I shoot this man in the back um, for doing whatever. Uh, I I don't know what I aimed at there. I think I was trying to shoot Dutch, but uh, I go in the house against Dutch's Dutch's yeah Dutch's win winnings. What what does that even mean anyway? Against Dutch's wishes, and then he tells me to go in the house as I'm already searching it. So we look in the cabinet. We grab all the uh, the medicine we can find in here which Arthur grabs so slowly oh my god why is it so slow uh, and then I grab some like vegetables or whatever they're in a can very nutritious uh, Arthur then then lets Dutch know he's hungry and Dutch tells him to eat I'm, I might as well just be a commentator at this point I don't I don't see why I'm actually here I'll just uh, I'll let you enjoy me picking things up and listen to the dialogue and I'm leaving the house or oh, I'm going back in the house you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop talking Maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up.
Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can so we finish the looting. I go outside to meet up with Dutch like he lets me know and I run. I try leaving my horse again because I just want it gone. And it's not even my horse, it's Charles's horse. So I go in the shed because I know it's about to happen but it doesn't let me so I have to run back to Dutch. I try to shoot the horse because I don't want it. Uh, so I get to Dutch and then he tells me to go to the barn so I just do the exact same run as I just did about 30 seconds ago. So, I, I open the door in a minute, apparently. Yep, there we go. I open the door. Arthur pulls his gun because he wants to shoot the horse because he knows, he knows the challenge and then he gets jumped because the man doesn't want him to shoot it. Arthur drops his gun and his hat. Uh, poor hat. And then he beats up some random bloke that was trying to protect his horse. He had nothing to do with the O'Driscolls. He just, he just wanted to protect his horse. So... Arthur proceeds to beat him to death, throw him on the floor, and then stare at him. Oh, and then he grabs him, of course. Oh, Arthur, you're such a gentleman. And then just dances? I'm not, I'm not sure what's, what's... Oh, and he punches him. And then dances again. You know what, Arthur? You are a very strange man. So he just kind of dances for a few minutes um, smacks him again oh yeah I'll go in first person to god he's handsome oh wow and then shake him yeah no that's can hear Dutch laughing and then he just looks at us he did nothing to help you know I thought he was a good leader or anything but he would have happily let Arthur die there so Arthur just kills him Right there, right there. And then <laughs> Dutch just shouts, "That's my boy, good boy." Pick, pick up my gun. I pick up the hat. And then, God, Arthur didn't get the chance to shoot this horse, but he's he's having second thoughts. Uh, he just, yeah, no, he he's caught feelings for the horse, and they go off run live life together. And then I, I finally get the option to lead a horse, right? So I'm I'm ecstatic. So I, I finally lead the horse, and I'm I'm thinking this is it. This is it. The challenge is easy, right? The challenge is extremely, extremely easy, and I don't have to do anything else, which you will see in a minute. Is is wrong? It's very wrong. But I'll uh, I'll cut to the next mission, and uh, you can you can see that for yourself. We get, me and Javier, get to the abandoned camp in the, uh, in the new mission. Uh, this is a whole cutscene before I got it. So I immediately get off and try to mount Javier's horse. It, it does not let me. As I'm just staring intently at Javier's horse, I go back and try lead it. And it doesn't let you, it also doesn't let you study it. Which I found a bit odd. So I try killing it by smacking its neck and I run I just run away in the complete wrong direction may I add um, I'm going the complete wrong way yeah no yeah and the mission fails uh, because my horse was abandoned I think yep horse was abandoned of course it was the horse it's the horse's fault it's always the horse's fault this is why as I said Rockstar need to remove the horses to just get rid of them. No one likes them. Have you met anyone that plays Red Dead Redemption to say, yeah, yeah, I really like my horse. I love it so much. No, you you haven't. And if you have, you're lying. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. So I, 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 I figure that I cannot uh, leave the horse, so I, I have to get on it. So that's two missions. Two out of two missions that you have to use the horse to complete. So me and Javier, we're, we're moving with Ivan together. Uh, I proceed to not be able to see the screen like at all because it is so white. And then I get this magical idea. What if I jump the ravine 
and my horse smacks into it and I fly off the horse dies and I live so you'll see me in a second attempt this so my horse gets a bit shooketh and I'm like I don't care and I jump and it it, ba it backfires. It, it backfires heavily as I die and the horse is fine. So Arthur died from... He didn't even hit the ground when I died. So he just kind of died from cold. And then I'm back at the camp. I inspect it. It doesn't let me. So I just carry on and I have to run all the way back there again. So me and Javier are moving again. We just... We go in, we go in. Javier's wearing a poncho. I just... Why? Why are you wearing a poncho? I've just realised this. What's what's going on, Javier? I get that you're from Mexico and everything, but... Come on. It's... so cold. Oh, look, I even checked my honour, and that's the highest I think I've had it. Ever. I always just shoot people for no reason because it's fun and especially my horses I always aim for them so I, I continue along the cliffside here um, slowly because this mission is very long and I attempt the exact same thing again this time it just just yeah no we just make it <laughs> and then it's fine so I proceed to try run away from Javier on my horse I should have left it behind uh, Javier starts crying, like tears in his eyes, and then I try to shoot the horse again. I, I do that. I, I spin. Apparently, I don't even remember that, and I recorded this an hour ago. So I uh, hop on the horse because I have to, and I hate the horses so much. I just want to kill all of them, every single one. All the horses need to die, right? Why can you not shoot your horse in the head? You could in Red Dead 1. I don't I don't see why you can't do it anymore. See, that would be the best thing about this game, just killing your horse. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying all of this. I love my horse so much. If anything happened to my horse, I'd cry. But I just... Not here. Not here. I just want every horse to die. So we, we proceed to find Mr... Mr. Marston, who, you know, I'd happily shoot as well. Who likes John Marston? No one. Is the answer. No one likes John Marston. Everyone wants him dead. Did you ask if any... Did, did Rockstar see anyone say, uh, Bring back John Marston. We love him so much. No. It never happened. No one likes John. No one likes Arthur. Everyone loves Micah. Micah should be the main character for every game ever. Uh, I then find a horse, um, which I, I wish was mine, to be honest. I wish I was John, because then you can't ride the horse. See, John dead, horse dead, Arthur dead, Micah alive is the perfect scenario for this game. If, if John went up that mountain Micah should have killed him I inspect a shotgun that's it we finally get off the horses as I attempt to shoot it it, it does not work but I'm finally off the horse so I walk very very slowly in fact I'm gonna stop talking and speed this bit up because nothing interesting happens at any point during this
we find John Marston pretty much dead on the edge of a cliff as Arthur gets a bit cold and rubs his hands. Uh, you can see our, uh, uh, John is turned into a tomato. Um, so Arthur decides he wants to sit down because he's a bit tired. He goes down there and uh, it makes... Okay, yeah, he does that. Uh, gives him to man and then talks to John. God, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this, honestly. You cannot name a better YouTuber than me. So, uh, we do the very hard action here of, um, walk. That's it, we just walk. That's the end of the mission. Just walk, shoot the horse, dump Marston off a cliff, and Javier proceeds to flip kick us off a bridge. Don't know where the bridge would be in this, but there is one, trust me, I know. And then we get uh, John's friends, um, uh, and then John dies. He is dead, but he is also a zombie. See, it's called Undead Nightmares. If you've never played it, play it. So, Arthur runs, runs some more, uh, asks him to come over. Bit, bit weird, Arthur. They are dogs after all. And then shoots them when they decline. That's every every nice guy ever. Uh, they ask a woman uh, to love them. They say no. They shoot them. They shoot them with a shotgun and blow them to pieces. So I, I try to get on Javier's horse because the goal is to not use your horse those are the rules in fact I don't even remember the rules and I spoke about them about 20 minutes ago I have short term memory loss I can't remember what I said 5 minutes so I try to lead the horse again doesn't work I then ask Javier if he's got a spare seat Javier um, threatens to kill me so I, I get on my horse reluctantly and we ride off into the winter together and then that is pretty much the end of the mission we shoot a few more wolves and that's it so uh yeah no that, that's it we'll cut to the end of the mission because no one no one cares about this mission like no one has ever said my favorite mission in red dead redemption history is the one where you just save John Marston and shoot dog. Anyway, I'll stop speaking and get to the end. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. Why did you stick around for that? Anyway, that's two out of two missions that we had to use a horse in. Anyway, if you enjoyed, like. If you didn't, don't like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. My channel is dying. Anyway, goodbye.